lot of our pest and disease issues do come from uh, poor growing conditions and soil is kind of that first thing that you want to think of and really pay attention to and start cultivating good soil so the fruit trees you know how they in nature right in maybe a more wild setting not in your backyard they would grow in that ecotone between the forest and the prairie or the meadow so we want to kind of replicate that in when we're thinking about our soil and make sure that we're doing um, things that really help build a fungal duff layer. So the branches and leaves and, and prairie kind of plants and also having some logs and stuff to break down, feed the fungi with the carbon, right? And make sure that the soil layers are building we're creating places for micro and macro organisms. Now as we're going forward and teaching this new generation of fruit growers, we're highlighting the importance of soil health before they even start their planting process. Um, heavy clay soils are great for um, water retention and uh, nutrient retention, but um, most of these trees, especially stone fruit and raspberries, really require a well-drained soil to have a healthy life. Uh, one of the things that we do here is a lot of cover cropping before we put in new plants. And um, so our fruit trees get a cover crop of Sudan, which is a deep tap-rooted grass, which breaks up a lot of the hard clay soil. Um, we also add a lot of organic matter to our soil. So we're top dressing our soil with wood chips and uh, green matter and um, feeding it a lot of nutrients through uh, fish emulsion and um, comfrey. We chop and drop our comfrey all summer long so that breaks down quite readily and helps to feed our soil and get our soil a little bit lighter for some of our more sensitive plants. Um, we have also incorporated quite a few hugel culture mounds um, to help with drainage for some of those plants and species that are a little bit more sensitive to wet feet. Uh, all of our raspberries go in built up beds, mounded beds, and we just put organic matter and sand and fluffy soil and wood chips. We allow that to break down for a few years and cook, if you will. And then that's, we, we do our planting after that process happens. Good soil health in a holistic orchard means that it's well-drained and receptive. You want your soil to have good airflow and good water flow as it drains or even holds water throughout the dry season. So we do this by building good structure and porosity. So you want to make sure that you have a good, a healthy amount of wood chips on the surface of the soil to moderate the rain when it falls and help it infiltrate into your soil and be stored there for the uptake by your roots. Your wood chips in turn encourage fungal relationships and microbes that convert the organic materials in your wood chips into the nutrients that your plants need. Some of these microbes might be helping to create those channels in the soil that help for a good airflow and good drainage.